Shabbat Shalom. We all know the expression, don't judge a book by its cover. It's a quaint contemporary saying that teaches us not to judge the value of something by its outward appearance. It may relate to the value of an object that doesn't look like much, but may have value. It's also used as a caution about not prejudging people based on their outward appearances. In the second century, one of the most famous rabbis, Yehud HaNasi, had a similar teaching. In a well-known section of the Mishnah called Pirkei Avot, which I love, Ethics of Our Ancestors, there are many insightful teachings that impart lessons about how to live our lives and how to look at the world. Rabbi Yehud HaNasi is quoted as saying the following, Do not look at the wine flask, but rather what it contains. For there may be a new flask filled with old wine, or an old flask that doesn't even have new wine in it. Rather than the metaphor of a book, Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi uses wine. Namely, don't judge the quality of wine based on this container. Unlike bottles of wine today that have the year that the grapes were harvested and began their process of becoming wine, in ancient times you could pour your wine into a variety of different kinds of flasks or jugs until they were ready to drink it. Many of us could learn important lessons about life if we lived by this teaching. We would look at things, people especially differently. In truth, the teaching in Perkebot is much deeper. It's often the context of what type of teacher one should seek out. It will not surprise you that the rabbis prefer the teaching from someone who had gained wisdom over time and through experience rather than someone who looks good and sounds good based on being a young age. It's a recognition that wisdom begins in books, but is truly acquired with life experiences and testing the theories in the real world. Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi, I believe, is really teaching us that we can learn from the most unexpected people. We don't just learn from scholars and from books. We can learn from the life experiences of people especially those who have lived very different lives from us. If we were open to listening to the experiences of one another and seeing the potential of finding teachers in the most unexpected places, our knowledge would be so much greater and therefore our lives would be so much richer. On this Shabbat, whether it's Kiddush wine from a gold medal winner or from Manischewitz, may we all realize to learn to better judge people by their ability to teach us rather than what they look like from the outside. Shabbat Shalom.